Good evening guys, how are we? Welcome back to the vlog. I look like I'm just about to go on a night out, but in fact, I've just come back from a night out, well, from dinner. I'm gonna quickly take my shoes off that look like this, and they're killing me. I just lowered you down a tiny bit. I also am wondering how this background is even looking right now. Probably not that aesthetic, this entire hotel room. Needs a bit of a tidy up, but here we are. By the way, have I actually even told you yet that we are currently in Ibiza? So welcome to Ibiza, guys. I don't even think I've said that, have I? By the way, I haven't even been drinking tonight. I've drank copious amounts of sparkling water and a peppermint tea. I am actually in Ibiza with Reese, but he's currently not in the hotel room because he has gone out, which I'm totally happy with, to be honest. I feel like I'm past my club in time. Don't get me wrong. Did have a couple of nights out this trip so far. Been here five days already. We did DC 10 twice. He stayed out a lot later than me though. But do you know what? Tonight they've gone to Pasha and I just can't be bothered. Like I would rather, after having a nice dinner, just come home, put my PJs on, take my makeup off and have a good night's sleep. To me, that is a perfect night out. Tomorrow I'm gonna give you a proper hotel tour because we're staying at the Me Hotel in obviously Ibiza and the area is Santa Eulalia and honestly this hotel is beautiful like the views of the sea and just the overall like vibe is just 10 out of 10. I'm actually gonna do a double cleanse tonight because my face just feels like it needs it so I'm gonna first of all start off with the Caudalie foaming cleanser just to get the rest of my makeup off. And for my second cleanse, I'm using my Skin In Me cleanser. Truthfully, I didn't actually bring too much skincare with me on this trip because I didn't have that much weight allowance, like baggage allowance, well, you know what I mean? And I didn't want to bring loads of toiletries because I had lots of clothes. <laughs> and if I'm completely honest, as long as I've got my Skin In Me Daily Doser, which is the skincare I use every single night and have done for nearly two years it's about to be my two year anniversary of using skin in me but as long as i've got that then i'm actually fine but this is the cleanser which is from skin in me it's just such a simple cleanser and i always really enjoy using this next step is my daily doser and i know lots of you have seen me use this countless times and heard me speak about it as well but this product single-handedly change the life of my skin and I will forever shout from the rooftops about how good it is. Just in case you've never heard of it before, the way Skin and Me works is it's skincare designed for you. You can head onto the Skin and Me website and take a consultation and basically answer questions all about your own skin. And of course we have all different skin concerns, goals and needs. In the beginning, mine was to really focus on breakouts, acne, and that kind of stuff. As time has moved on, and now my breakouts are very few and far between, I now like to focus on things like fine lines and wrinkles, and the signs of aging, skin texture, and also redness, as in like the redness of my skin. But there are so many different things you can focus on, from rosacea, as I say, signs of aging, acne, skin dryness, dullness, oiliness, like it's not just a about breakout prone skin, which I think a lot of people think that's what Skin Me is all about. It's not. It's about helping people with their skin, no matter what their needs are. And once you've taken the consultation, one of the dermatology team at Skin Me then designs skincare for you. So once you get your daily dose of what's inside yours, will probably be completely different to what's inside mine. So unlike most skincare, it's not a one size fits all approach. Things are adapted to suit you. Your daily dose also arrives in the post every single month, so you never run out and every single night, you probably just see me do it, you twist it, it clicks, and it dispenses exactly the right amount of product you need to use. So you're not overusing it, you're not underusing it, and it also means there's very minimal waste as well. But I will actually insert some photos of my skin before I started using Skin Me because I honestly feel like a different person now. It also makes my skincare routine so, so simple because I know as long as I've got this, a cleanser, a moisturizer, and some SPF. <laughs> I know I'll be fine. I mean, don't get me wrong. Of course, it's nice to have some serums and some eye creams, but it's not a necessity. As long as I've got my daily doser, I'll always be good. Whilst my skincare is soaking in, I'm gonna quickly brush my teeth. And last step is moisturizer. And I'm gonna do a really thick layer of moisturizer because my skin feels so dry after being in the sun. I don't know if any of you experience 
kind of dry skin when you're on holiday it's kind of strange this moisturizer is also from skin of me it's just really simple but does the job if i'm completely honest i do use the moisturizer and the cleanser of course i've used them tonight i take them when i'm on holiday just because like these are just so easy to pack but i do use other cleansers i do use other moisturizers you'll see me in other vlogs using things from different brands but something that is an absolute non-negotiable in my routine is using my daily doser like there's never a night where this does not go on my face unless probably i've had too much to drink and i forget but this is genuinely the reason my skin stays so clear like i love this thing so much but something i will actually just quickly add is when you use the daily doser there are actives inside this and whenever you put actives on your face you must be using spf i mean you should be using spf anyway but even more so if you're using that kind of skincare but skin and me also do have an spf i took it today out with me so this is it just here mine's a little bit bashed up because you know i've used it a lot i've gone through tubes of this stuff i use this every single day when i do my makeup or even when i'm not doing my makeup so i put on my moisturizer then i apply a good generous layer of this on my face onto my neck it's factor 50 but you'll still get a tan even through the factor 50 and something which is so great about this particular sun cream unlike lots of other sun creams i've used is when you put creams on your face sometimes sun creams can start to Heel. I don't know if any of you experienced that before, but they almost like start to kind of crumble off your skin where this doesn't do that at all. It sits so nicely under your makeup. It doesn't give you that white cast and it's just a really, really, really great SPF. As I say, I've gone through tubes of it and I use it every day without fail. I do actually have a discount code for Skin and Me, which is Freya Summer. It'll get you your first month for just $4.99. And you can also add a free trial size of the SPF. So I really think it is the perfect opportunity to give it a go if you're stuck in a rut with your skincare or maybe you just feel like you're too overwhelmed with all these products that are in the market and you just don't really know where to start then i couldn't recommend it more it's like simple skincare which actually works so i will leave the link down below so you can go and check it all out yourself i'm actually going to put some serum in my hair before i go to bed because it feels so dry like honestly it feels like hey i don't really know if it's like the sea air or like i don't know what's going on here but like we need serum now i actually did bring this philip kingsley a swim cap mask which i'm definitely going to use tomorrow but for tonight i'm just going to use my Kerastase elixir in the ends of my hair just to hopefully kind of revive it a little bit overnight and on that note that is me off to bed and i will see you guys in the morning Good night. Good morning, guys. I can't talk to you for too long because it's loud in here and I'll get done for copyright with the music. But we've just arrived at Nikki Beach. Got ready nice and quickly this morning. This is my outfit of the day. Very, very simple. And we're just going to grab some lunch here. morning guys you're probably wondering why I didn't vlog last night and I'm gonna tell you the truth about something I was gonna sugarcoat it but like the truth is I lost you I lost my camera I thought it had been stolen like I've been back to Nikki Beach to go and look for it wasn't there I've turned this room over five times over nowhere to be found I checked under the bed three times and the last time I looked third time lucky as they say I could just see the furry top of my camera. My camera's got this little like furry microphone in it. I could see it in the darkness at the back of the bed. How it got there, don't even ask me because I actually have no idea, but I found you. And now my next problem is the fact that I have no battery on either of the batteries I bought with me for my camera and I didn't bring a charger. Honestly, why am I like this? I just don't even know. I make my life so difficult. But I'm going to try and find a charger from somewhere. And in the meantime, I thought I'd start the vlog this morning because today I'm just having a very chill day in the hotel. I'm actually going to try and attempt to read some of my book. I've been here almost a week and I haven't read past the first page. That's how crazy this holiday has been. Um, but I'm hoping today is going to be a little bit chill. I also felt like I could give you a tour of the hotel because it's beautiful, breathtaking views. And um, yeah, I just thought we could have a chill day together. Reese is actually currently at breakfast. I never eat breakfast on holiday. I don't know why. I just prefer to eat like a bigger lunch. 
Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably have a burrata salad maybe. And also work out how I'm going to get a charge of my camera from somewhere. Like honestly, every day there's an issue. Can I just quickly show you this pretty mess I have going on over here, which are all of my accessories I bought on the trip. I am realizing, I do wish I bought another beach bag with me though. I feel like I'm wearing the same one a lot. Maybe I need a new beach bag. Hmm. Maybe we should go shopping, but yeah. Here's all my jewellery and all of my bits and pieces that I brought with me. Anyway, let's take this bag because this is what I'm using today and let me show you around. Oh, I just had a little bit of a nightmare because I came out to start showing you guys around the hotel and my camera is so cold from the aircon that it's got all condensation in it and then it was all blurry so I've had to sit in the sun and wait for it to heat up. But let me give you a quick tour. So as you can see, this here is a beach area with beach beds and it's kind of part of Nikki Beach but it's also part of the Mi Hotel. So you can sit on these beds for free if you're staying at the Mi. You can eat and drink from Nikki Beach and you can go in their pool but you don't actually have to pay for the physical bed. If you go into Nikki Beach you have to pay for the bed. So yesterday we were in this cabana just here which is in Nikki Beach. We paid for that but it's just great. It kind of gives you the option to be sort of involved with the party vibe without having to pay which is just fab. And as you can see the view from here is just spectacular. I mean does it really get much better than that? So then this is the Mi Hotel itself and I'm gonna go back in. The problem is with filming is there's so many people around all the time and I don't like getting people in the video, especially if they're in their swimsuits and things because I wouldn't wanna be on someone else's vlog in a swimsuit, do you know what I mean, unknowingly. So I'm gonna try my best to just show you around without getting people in the video. So this is the entrance hall just here. And then if I pan round to this side, we have the breakfast area. It's currently breakfast time. So lots of choices to drink from champagne. Love that. Juices. All different kinds of fruit, fresh fruit, cherries, watermelon, pineapple. Then this whole section is bread, pastries, croissants. We love that. Now this is actually like raw fish. I don't know how I feel about eating that for breakfast, truthfully. Then again, I would eat smoked salmon. So, you know, anything goes. Hummus and crudités. Then over here is an omelette making station. Reese's favorite place every morning. Here we have cooked breakfast. We've got eggs, Spanish sausage, bacon, more sausage. Here we have yogurts and fruit, chia seed pots. And also, I think that overnight oats actually. Here we have more pastries. <laughs> this actually looks great. You know what, I've actually never been over here. I'm not much of a breakfast person, if I'm completely honest. I'm just showing you around. And then over here, all different types of cereals, nuts. You can kind of make your own granola. You've got a big pot of Nutella. Love that. So over here is where you eat breakfast. But if we pan around to the other side of the hotel, this is another restaurant. By the way, all over the hotel is this beautiful artwork and it's all to do with this tree that's out here. Can you see this tree at the end here? So many different art pieces all about that tree, which is really cool. Anyway, this is actually where we sat and ate and had a drink on our first day when we arrived. So once again, this is another like bar and restaurant. By the way, this isn't an ad for the hotel. <laughs> but we're full paying customers. We stayed here a few years ago and said he thought I would love it. And so we came back. And once again, the view from here, just wow. And just to give you like an idea of where we are, that's where we were earlier. Like here is Nikki Beach, you see? you've got the same view over here too. You see what I mean about artwork of the tree? Very similar, but also different. And this one as well in color. Then this is the main pool area. And then obviously the sun lounges over this side as well. Then as we come down to here, like look at this, it's just so chill. Do you know, I feel like people think Ibiza is so party and don't get me wrong, it can be. We've done a bit of partying, but it can also just be so chilled and just relaxing and beautiful. And this is that side of it. And this is the hotel from a different angle. I'm almost down by the beach now. As you can see, there are more beds down here. There are another row of beds at the front, but I don't want to film them because there's people on them. But as I pan round, this is the view from here. And there's also these really cool egg chairs from here. And then the steps, you can actually go down to the beach. And now I'm down the steps. This is the only thing I say, if you're a beach person, the beach here is non-existent. Apparently it used to be a lot bigger, but the water has risen and it comes in a lot further, so there's no longer much of a beach. But you can still go and paddle in the water, you just can't sit at the beach, if you know what I mean, so there's nowhere to sit. Um, but it kind of gives you the feel of being at the beach because you're so close to the ocean, even on the, the sun lounges. And you can see it goes all the way around from there. 
and back up the steps takes you to the hotel. My food just arrived. I got a chicken Caesar salad and fries, like the most holiday lunch ever. This is like my favorite thing to eat in the sun, although I'm in the shade. And this is the view, wow. Once again, sorry about the music, it's really loud, but I just ordered a creme brulee. Reese has got carrot cake, and he also got sushi and burrata. Good evening, guys. I have washed my hair for the first time in way too many days, and I feel like I knew one. We both just got ready, Reese is just brushing his teeth, and we are going for dinner. This is my outfit of the evening. I have on this dress, which is actually from Reese. This bag is Bottega. My bangles on this wrist are Pandora. My necklace is Pandora. I actually have two dresses this trip, which look so similar. One is short and one is long, but they're both black with this sort of like cow neckline. I've got the longer version on tonight. I don't know if you can actually even see me. Um, but we're going to Cappuccino Cafe. We've already been there this trip, but it's a really lovely location and the football is on tonight. Spain versus England. Is it coming home? Hopefully it is. And the reason, sorry, I was saying we're eating, we're eating at Cappuccino Cafe is because they've got a TV. Did I say that? I'm unsure if I did or not. Let's go. We've just arrived at the marina, all these lovely boats. But if you think these are nice boats, wait until we get around the corner because there are some serious, serious boats around here. Whoa, go party people. We've got some music going on here. This is the location where there are lots of lovely shops like Dior, Louis Vuitton and Gucci, Saint Laurent. And there's also Leo's, which is a very famous kind of club show restaurant. We're not going there this evening though, we're going around the corner. But this is what I mean about the boats getting nicer and nicer. Like, look at these bad boys, look at this. It's the first time you laid eyes on me. What? Leo's. Oh yeah, oh yeah, fun fact actually. Reese and I met here. <laughs> I actually forgot that. But yeah, I mean, he actually doesn't remember me from there. We actually kind of met in a hotel lobby, but we did originally meet here kind of quickly. Let's have a little look what they've got in Lueve. This is nice. I've never seen this before. I really love this bag. In fact, like I want it. I want it a lot. It's so nice. Like, look how cute this is. Oh, it's so nice. Wow, they have so many choices in this bag too. Like, look at the chain on this one. Cute. Also some very fun sunglasses. I also really like this denim jacket. I've actually wanted this for ages, but it's sold out in London. Let's have a look in Louis Vuitton. Everything is just so chic. Like, look at even these pillows outside and the chairs. Sorry, look how amazing this is as you walk in. Like, how gorgeous is this? Look, the shells have Louis Vuitton on them. Just look how cool these swim shorts are. And these one in particular. Oh, I love these. This is like the beach collection. Look at this sundress. Wow, so cute. And this top has basically a necklace on it. And all of the blue and the white. Interesting, a jacket with the whole Louis Vuitton luggage tag on it. These are cute. See. Never seen this before. I've never seen this bag before. How interesting is that? And this crop capucines is a joke. Okay, next let's do Dior. Look at these sculptures outside here. Look, they're made out of shells. Like, look at this. And look at this bag that's also made out of shells. Sorry, that is <laughs> incredible. I don't think you can buy it though. I don't think it's for sale. Oh, I love this little lady Dior. The little rattan one. Also love, I think this is in Lizard actually. Wow, look at this bag. <gasps> Stop, it's all beaded. It's like a work of art. This whole store is so pretty. Like, I just can't. Everything is so gorgeous. Now we could go to Bulgari or we could go to Laura Piana. How beautiful is this with the boats? The sunset, wow! And Bottega. These shoes match my bag. This bag in particular, but I tried them on and they're just not comfortable at all. These are interesting, we have to say. <laughs> they're super cool. 
we were just saying how much we love this bag and they have them here and look at this this is incredible and they beat the special and this bag is also so hard to get hold of at the moment and they have it in here i really like this it kind of looks like the little piano l19 though and this in this gorgeous blue color well this is where we wanted to eat cappuccino cafe but it looks like a lot of people have the same idea and we haven't booked a table so this could be interesting i actually had an outfit change and i've got on the mns dress that i showed you in my last vlog just because the fact that the black one was a little bit overdressed i'm really loving this combo of my jewelry with my bag by the way i think it looks cute here we are guys this is our little spot and look at this boat <laughs> honestly it's like a ferry look at the size of it it is a yacht but it's a very 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 big yacht look how you can watch all of the boats come in it's such a great spot here and in the distance over there you've got Ibiza town as you can see and the sunset's just over the back here so it's just such a lovely lovely place to sit and have dinner in the evenings but it's also a really nice place to come for lunch as well anyway what are we gonna have I feel like I've drank so much the last few days like I don't even want to drink anything alcoholic but let's look at what's on the menu it's so bright i don't even know if you're gonna be able to see me but reese has quickly ran to a different spot because we thought we were gonna be able to watch the football here but all of the seats around the tv are reserved we should have known so he's quickly ran to go and see if we can get in somewhere else where we can see a tv so we'll see how it goes i literally can't even open my eyes it's so bright well reese apparently has found somewhere with the tv but they don't do food and we haven't had dinner and starving I'm about to get hangry, but he also wants to watch the football. <laughs> oh God, but I also kind of want to watch the football as well. Like it just needs to be done. But um, yeah, the fact the place doesn't do any food is just not really the vibes, but we move. Well, it's been a bit chaotic, but we have another table. And the TV is so loud, I don't know if you're even going to be able to hear me. I've got an app on the screen. I'm starving, we haven't eaten a thing. Well, guys, we've just left the football. England lost, but we've both just said, well, I've actually said, Reese hasn't said anything as of yet, but England did give Spain a good run for their money. Can you hear all the yachts tooting? Woo! Um, they gave them a good run for their money. Everyone said that Spain were gonna smash them. And even though Spain won, England still put in a good fight, in my opinion, from someone who, who knows nothing about football. <laughs> well, unfortunately for England, it ain't coming home. <laughs> Bless them. I mean, I feel like England played their hearts out last night. Look at the state of me this morning, by the way. What is going on with my hair? Um, but no, they played their hearts out. And do you know what? It was actually quite good. Watching the football here in Spain, where obviously Spain won and the vibes were just immaculate. I did actually take some videos in Ibiza town. They were portrait on my phone. Maybe I'll insert them just to give you the vibes of what was going on. <laughs> As you can probably tell, it was pretty crazy, but like it was quite nice, even though England had lost, we felt a bit disappointed. It was still nice to see people celebrating. I'm so not like a football person, but at the same time, I feel like sport just brings everyone together. It was also the Wimbledon final yesterday. It was, I think, some sort of golf final, Reese said. Reese is like a big sportsman, he loves any kind of sport, but especially football. Anyway, it is a new day today. And I am just getting myself ready to go to, I think we're going to go to a beach club today. We've actually not been to many beach clubs because we're so close to Nikki, which is obviously a beach club. We just felt there's not been much need to leave the hotel. Um, but I think we're going to venture out today. So I thought I'd quickly get ready with you all. First up, of course, putting on some SPF. This is, once again, my Skin and Me SPF. This is the one that I told you about earlier on in the vlog. I put it on every single day without fail. Whether I'm in a sunny country or whether I'm in the UK, which is not often very sunny, I still put this on. And just a reminder of my code, I'm going to leave all of the information up here so you can get your first month of Skin and Me for just $4.99 and a trial size of the SPF as well because it's the best. But yeah, I'm just getting myself ready. I'm not going to get too kind of like glammed up. I'm going to put a little bit of light makeup on probably curl my eyelashes <laughs> but I'm not gonna do like proper foundation or anything like that I need to pick an outfit I'm gonna do a little bit of the Shantakai future skin it is a foundation but it's more like a skin tint kind of thing it's so lightweight on your skin 
and this is a product I absolutely love. I get it from Space NK. I have the colour Cream and it just gives that whole sort of your skin but better illusion. At the moment I've got a lot of freckles going on because I'm in like the sun even though I wear my SPF. Still get a tan and I still get freckles but in a safe way. But I love this skin tint because you can still see your freckles through it. And it's just really natural but just gives you a little bit of a glow. I'm going to do a tiny bit of the Vive cream bronzer just to contour my cheeks a little bit i'm such a blusher girl at the moment like i love it even in the daytime and it's funny for years i never wore a blush today i'm going to do a little bit of the charlotte tilbury light one blusher just on the top of my cheekbones a little bit of the refi brow tint on my eyebrows then to add a little bit of a gloss which isn't really a gloss it's more of a balm i'm doing this tatcha kisu balm i've actually been using this for a little while mainly at night time but I really, really like it. Then for my eyes, I'm not going to do mascara. Because I just feel like if I go in the sea or go in the pool, it's just going to go down my face. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes with my heated eyelash curler. Which basically makes my eyelashes look like I've had LVL. Look at the difference between this eye and this eye. And this is just from using the heated eyelash curler. It makes such a difference. Also, random change of subject. But I have met so many of you who watch like my videos and are just here on the channel and part of my community. I've met so many of you in the last few weeks. In London, in Ibiza, even a lovely, lovely girl who was working in Dior in um, the marina last night in Ibiza said that she watches my videos. I honestly couldn't believe it. Like it's so mad how, how small the world is and like how big our little community is at the same time because it always like takes me back. And the other day as well, I met another girl in Selfridges and I looked so bad, I can't even tell you. Like I I just got up, it was actually the day I vlogged and I said to her, do you remember it was in my last vlog? I was wearing a cap to kind of disguise myself. And I said to her, I can't believe you recognize me. And she said it was my green eyes, which is really funny, that made um, her recognize me. But at the same time, I kind of laughed myself after because I thought, it's so funny that I say, I can't believe you recognise me. Yeah, I go on the vlog looking worse than I did that day. So why wouldn't you recognise me? But like, I'm sort of warped in my head to think that you only think I look like I do on Instagram, which we all know that is a, like once or twice a month. Um, but yeah, it's really nice like meeting you all in real life. Like, I love it. And it's just crazy, especially meeting you in Ibiza. Like, that is just wild. I've actually met some lovely girls at Nikki Beach as well. Like... I meet you pretty much every single time I go out at the moment, which is so fun. Anyway, let's pick something to wear. I'm thinking white. I feel like white today. I need to turn on the aircon as well because it is hot in this room. Look how many Hansa G swimsuits I have on this hanger. <laughs> but I feel like I want to wear, yeah, my white one today. Let's do that. And maybe I could wear this mint velvet white linen set. I feel like this could be quite nice. Okay, this looks kind of cute. I could do with recurling my hair, but I also just really can't be bothered, so I'm not going to do it. I love this set, though. I feel like it's so chic. I feel like we need to add some jewellery. I love wearing lots of costume jewellery when I'm on holiday. Like, it's my favourite thing. So I'm feeling like maybe pearls with this white outfit. So the first necklace, I'll show you it all up close once it's all on, but this one is... Pandora. Then I have this other necklace which I love. It's from a brand called Soru. I think that's how you say it. I've got a few pieces from them. But I think this is one of my favourites and it looks so nice with this pearl Pandora necklace I have on. Okay, cute. I like this. Then let's do my pearl. This is one of my favourite things ever. This is a pearl um, sunglasses chain from a brand called Frame Chain. I just bring this on every holiday. And I just think it's so, so pretty and like perfect for the beach. The shells, the pearls, all of the vibes. Okay, maybe this looks a little bit over the top. But maybe I kind of like it. Sorry, there's a mirror over there. Yeah, maybe I kind of like it at the same time. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to go with it. Sod it. I think I'm just going to do one bangle and then I have another shell necklace, which I think I can turn into a bracelet. Okay, this actually looks so cute. Let me show you up close. So here's my bracelet situation. We've got Pandora and Monica Vinader. And then my necklaces are Pandora, Saru, as I've already said, and then my frame chain necklace chain. For perfume, I'm gonna do Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This is like the scent of summer. It smells like coconuts and beaches and just summer in a bottle. Like it is the best summer scent. And another summer scent which I have to wear is this jungle formula to stop myself getting eaten alive see i have so many bites on my feet it's just not even okay then for my bag i'm gonna do my celine 
basket bag, mainly just because I only have this bag with me. Well, I have this bag as well. You've already seen me use this on this trip. But this could look cute. But then I really want to wear my Celine sandals, which look like this. And I feel like they just go nicely with this bag. have been really thinking about that Loewe beach bag that I tried on yesterday in the shops in the marina. Really like that. But, like, do I need it? Probably not. But, like, it is really nice. Really, really nice. Let me know how you feel about that. Do you like it too? I'm also going to take my cowboy hat to shade my face from the sun. And this look is probably a bit much, like a bit much, a lot, a lot going on, you know, but you know what? I don't care, it's fine. But on that note, guys, I'm actually gonna leave you here because I am gonna vlog the rest of the trip. And even though this vlog probably wasn't the longest ever, I just really wanted to stay on track with my Monday uploads, give you a little summer summer, but the next vlog hopefully will do a little bit more. And I'll take you around, I'll show you a little bit more of Ibiza, and I'll take you for dinners and things like that. That is the plan. Hold me to it. As always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you all very much. Have a wonderful week, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Love you guys. Goodbye.